This is your boy Nose Game here, guys. In today's video, we're going to be talking about when to buy and sell on FIFA 19 Ultimate Team. We're also going to be talking about like what specific cards you should be buying and selling right now. We are amidst the, um, the, a really downtime in the market, but also an uptime in the market. And I'm going to explain that in this uh, video because we do have the winter refresh um, promotion going on right now. We have a bunch of... Uh, we have a bunch of SBCs in the store. We also have that basic icon SBC. So I'm going to kind of break it down and explain to you like a market update slash investment slash all that stuff, guys. So if you're new to the channel, guys, and you want to learn how to trade and make millions of coins on FIFA, um, all you got to do is hit that big red subscribe button underneath the video. Hit that bell icon right next to the subscribe button to turn on my post notifications. Smash a like on this video, guys, because we're going to be breaking this down. I'm going to be showing y'all tons of different trading methods on how to make coins. And guys, if you want to see me play foot champs or trade or, or play division rivals live, twitch.tv slash those gaming. That link is in the description. Go follow me on Twitch. Um, I, I do stream um, on the weekends and some weekdays, 6 p.m. UK time. Um, so if you want to come by my stream, just see if I'm streaming. I'll be live. If I'm not live right around 6, 6.30 p.m. UK time, I will not be live that day. Um, you can also turn my post notifications on. Um, and then also, guys, um, if you want to get in contact with me, if you have a, a trading or squad related questions, feel free to DM me on Twitter at Nails Gaming or on Instagram at Deontay Nails. You can follow me, DM me on there, and I will leave all my social media links and my Twitch channel link in the description. But let's get into the video for today, guys. So, we do, uh, we're going to talk about the market crash and what's going on with the market right now. So, um, we had a bunch of new icons and, and, and moments icons and, and, and even one to watches and uh, upgrades going on. Um, and, and new cards, upgraded cards because of, of, of winter upgrades, of course. Um, so with a ton of new cards on the market, guys, and, and, and packs, so there was, there's been a ton of packs being hit. Um, and, and so what that's caused is, is it caused the market on high-rated players. It, well, technically, guys, what it should have caused is a market crash, a complete market crash because there's a there's an exponential amount of supply and, and not as much of a demand because people were selling their teams. There's more cards on the market than there is people who are trying to buy them. Tons and tons of supply. Uh, but what EA did do, guys, is that they put out a bunch of different SBCs. Like they're putting out, um, for example flashback SBCs, icon SBCs, and even a basic icon SBC, um, which requires an 86, 85, and 84 rated team. And guys, what this has done is this has countered the crash a little bit um, in terms of um, in terms of kind of mid-tier rated cards. So your 83s, your 84s, your 85, your 86s, even your 87s and 88s have went up in price. Um, and, and why is that? Because they are needed for um, these basic icon upgrade SBCs. Even some 89s and 90s and went up in price, guys. Um, so what you should be looking for right now is if you're trying to buy your team, here's my best advice. My best advice is if you're trying to buy your team, definitely buy it now. Um, but I would say you have to be careful because there's certain cars you should be buying now and there's certain cars you shouldn't be buying now. I would say this is this is how I want to this is how I want to say it. Um, Cars that you should be buying now are, um, for example, um, high rated cards. So like maybe 91s, even 90s that haven't been inflated in price dramatically. And if you don't know if a card's been inflated, um, you can go to footbin.com, type in a player on the um, on the site, and then see see what their price was a couple days ago. And if you see on that graph, because there's a there's a player price graph on there, and if you see the player price has dramatically increased since Friday, then that, that then that player's price is inflated, and therefore you don't want to buy them at that moment in time. Um, now also, um, you want to be buying informs. Um, you want to be buying icons. Icons are really, 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 really big thing to invest in right now, especially baby icons. So if you're, um, if you are trying to build a team and you need a baby icon, or if you, you want to put your coins into something, baby icons are low right now, and they're going to slowly, and they're 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 kind of already slowly climbing back up in price. And the reason why they're low is because of that basic icon SBC, um, which guarantees you a baby icon, and people are getting icons for cheaper, so they're selling off the icons that they have because they're packing them from an untradeable um, SBC. So it's putting more um, baby icons on the market, it's putting more icons on the market, and so with that, or this putting more icons in the game. I shouldn't say on the market. Sorry, it's putting more icons on the game, which is then causing people to sell their icons which is causing there, there to be more icons on the market especially baby icons uh, but even for example um, if you if someone does this SBC and they pack Eusebio's baby 
and let's say they have Eusebio's mid-tier card. There's not a ton of difference in between his mid-tier card and his baby card. So they might keep the baby and then all, go sell. Um, I mean, of course they're going to keep the baby because it's untradeable. But what they might, what they most people would do is, you're you're sacrificing um, a little bit of shooting for a little bit extra passing when it, or a little bit extra pace when it comes to Eusebio's. Um, baby compared to his middle so his baby has a fast it, his baby card is faster but has a little bit less shooting and but his mid-tier card is a little bit slower but has a, a little bit more um, a shooting so what people are going to do is they're going to be, be like is this really worth the 2.5 million coin difference like i got his baby from this sb this basic icon sbc but i have his mid-tier card two point something million coins if I sell this card, I mean, it's really not even that much of a downgrade. It's maybe one or two shooting, and he's even faster. So what people are going to do is they're going to be like, nah, I got his baby. His baby's just as good. So they're going to sell that mid-tier card to get that 2.53 million coins. Because that is a ton of coins, um, especially on a card that, that's not very, very, just dramatically better. So that's what I'm saying. So guys, you're going to see a lot of icons, and, and, and there's, going to, there's going to be a lot more supply of icons on the market right now, especially until this SBC leaves. Um, so if you're looking to buy an icon, now is the time, guys. Now is 100% the time. Um, also, things to buy. Um, investments. So let's say, for example, you are trying to invest um, in, in, in some cards. You have a couple million coins you're trying to invest. Look for uh, UCL cards um, from leagues that haven't got upgraded yet. So like from the Serie A, from the League One, um, UCL cards that are predicted to get upgraded. So for example, if their gold cards predicted to get an upgrade, and there's so many different lists, there's lists on top of the list. You can look up a list of, of players who are supposed to get an upgrade. And if they're supposed to get like a two point upgrade and they have a UCL card, go guys, go ahead and go in and buy them. I'll show you, for example, I bought Elder World. Um, I was buying Elder World at, um, at uh, I bought them at like, 70 65 70 K and he's already at 90 I'm, I'm listing him uh, just a ton like I'm over listing him right now for a lazy buyer uh, because this price is still rising um, so maybe if somebody wants to buy for 200 K I'll take that profit but I've already made 30 to 40 thousand coins each elder wield um, simply by investing him and then he got an upgrade and therefore his price started to climb and, and is steadily climbing that is the same thing for Allison uh, same thing for Robinson um, I got some Chesney some uh, um, yes, yeah, some Chesney, some Robinsons. Um, so that is a great way, to, great place to put your coins in. Great thing to be buying. Um, so that that's kind of a couple things you should be buying right now. Like I said, icons, um, high rated gold cards that haven't been inflated. If their prices went down, like for example, like Neymar and Bappe, um, if they're a really really high in demand player, um, then then for sure their prices went down because they've been packed a lot. Gareth Bale, Pl Messi, Ronaldo, they all have been going down, and they're, start they're slowly starting to recover. And the market's going to recover, guys. Uh, it's going to recover, um, so make sure you are buying now. And then, guys, things you should be holding and selling, guys. If you invest, say, for example, you did invest in Outer Wheeled, uh, say you did invest in, in, in Allison and Robinson, you should not be selling these cards yet, guys. For example, this Robinson, I bought him at 50k. He's around 58, 50, 60k right now. He's between 55 and 60k um, right now. And he was an 82 rated, and he got boosted to an 84. Well, his inform was an 84 rated, and it was 200,000 coins. Hey, now his inform is 86, and it's like I think 230, 250,000 coins. Um, so his inform is steadily rising, and this card is going to steadily rise. But the reason why this card hasn't spiked in price like Outer Worlds is because Outer World, before he got a two point boost, Outer World was a, um, a 86 compared to Robinson was an 82, which means there was more of, of Robinsons on the market compared to there not being as many 86. You, you got to think, guys. 86 rated card supply. How many is EA going to give out compared to an 82? An 82 is going to have a bunch of more supply compared to an 86. So it's just taking a little bit more time um, for Robertson to go up because there's a there's an abundant amount of supply. Uh, so once these cars start to get bought off the market and people start like actually start selling them and, and, and people start buying and buying and buying, once they once his card starts to become more and more rare and supply gets bought off, his card will start to really, really increase. And I can see him hitting the 80K to 100K mark. Easy easy guys so um 
definitely guys hold on to your UCL investments if you have them uh, let ride it out for a little bit see what they see what the price they go to they're not going to really go down right now if they do get an upgrade so make sure you do invest in ones that do get an upgrade and don't be selling these cards right now um, and, and like I said if you have icons let's say you invested in any icons don't be looking to sell those right now look to hold those as well um, uh, next up, we'll talk about when to, wh what you should be selling right now. What you should be selling right now, guys, is it, that's a really tricky question because a lot of people, a lot of, I wouldn't say sell a lot right now. There's really not a particular thing you should be selling right now, honestly, guys. The only because simply because I mean the only thing you should be selling right now. Let me let me rephrase that. There is things you should be selling. The only thing you should be selling right now are informs that are inflated. Say you have an inform that is like he was twenty thousand coins before the promotion started, but now he's fifty thousand coins. Go ahead and sell that inform. Um, also look to be selling your 83s, 84s, 85, 86s, 87s, 88, 89s, 90s. If you have them and you're not using them actively in your team. Be looking to sell those cards because more time, like there's a there's a good chance that they are needed for um, either this uh, rising or either this basic icon SBC or for the uh, flashback SBC, and they're going to be inflated in price. You can make a, a good good profit off of it. Um, so definitely be looking um, to sell like those 84s, really 83s through eight through really 88, 89, even 90 overall cards because I know Goudin, I know um, Courtois is used. Um, for that basic icon SBC very very frequently and so guys like I said anything that's really inflated in price be looking to sell that right now um, because it will go that back down in price and the market's going to equalize um, but with that being said guys I mean that is pretty much it for the video um, if y'all have any more topics that y'all want me to cover in tomorrow's video um, definitely uh, feel free to put it in the comment section and if you want to make some extra coins if you just if you just don't have any ways to make coins you can always snipe informs quick snipe them find out what they're going for around the 40th minute mark snipe them relist them and make it at least around a K uh, to two three thousand coins per card um, and just do that frequently and you will definitely make coins but guys thank y'all for watching like subscribe to the channel if you are new it's been your boy Nails Gaming I'm out peace out guys